Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I am sharing with you some Lawn Fawn products that I recently picked up that I'll be making some cards with. So this stamp set is called the Lawn Fawn High Five Stamp Set. There are five bees, and they're so cute. One has a party horn coming out of its mouth. There's one with a party hat. There's one with a crown. There's also a beehive, a flower, a banner, and a honey pot, and some sentiments. And there's also the coordinating dies that are available with this set. Another stamp set that I picked up is called More Magic Messages. And this stamp set has six sentiments such as Miss You Lots, Get Well Soon, Just a Little Note, Sending Rainbows and Sunshine, Dream Big, and You Are Amazing. And I also picked up the coordinating dies for that. And those sentiments fit perfectly in the center of this Lawn Fawn Magic Iris Beehive Add-on die set. And this beehive is pretty large. It will fit perfectly on an A2 size card. There's also a branch and a couple of bees, some flowers and leaves. And for one of my cards today, I'm going to be using this Echo Park Be Happy paper pad. This paper pad goes perfectly with these B sets from Lawn Fawn. I'm just going to go through this paper pad real quick so you can see the designs. There are several designs that have bees and flowers and the colors of blue, yellow, and black and green. So I'll be making two cards today and for my first card I'm using the Lawn Fawn Magic Iris Beehive Add-on die set. So I die cut the beehive out of some yellow cardstock and I'm adding some ink around the edges using the scrapbook.com honeycomb ink. You can see the depth that the ink adds to that beehive. And of course you can omit this step, but I like adding the ink to the edges of the die cuts because I love all of the depth that it adds to the die cuts. So I'm also going to take a little Q-tip with my ink and I'm just going to add the ink around all of those stitched lines going across the center of that beehive. That way I can get some more ink going along the center to add some more depth and dimension. Next, I'll take my ink blending brush and I'll add some ink around the center circle as well. But I love how this beehive has all of that stitching, not only around the edges, but also along all of the middle lines of the beehive. Next, I'm going to take a white gel pen and to add some white lines just along the edges and that will add even more interest to this beehive. Next, I use the B dies and I die cut the solid out of black cardstock and the top layering piece out of yellow and the wings out of white cardstock. And I'm going to add some ink to the edges of the B, so adding some yellow ink to the yellow cardstock. And for the wings, I'm adding some light blue ink to the edges. Now it's time to glue everything together, so I'll put glue on the back of the yellow piece and add it to the black, and you can see the black coming through, all of the openings on the yellow die cut, and then I'll add a little drop of glue to the center of the wings, and I'll add them behind the bee. And I created two more of those bees off camera and I'll set those aside and I'll work on the branch. So I die cut the branch out of some brown cardstock and I'm adding some ink along the edges for some extra depth. The ink I'm using is the gingerbread ink from scrapbook.com. And next I die cut some leaves out of some green cardstock and I'm adding some green ink along the edges. So this is the succulent ink from scrapbook.com. I die cut the leaves out of two different colors of green cardstock, some out of the lighter green cardstock and some out of the darker green cardstock just for some added interest. I die cut the flower die several different times out of white cardstock and I'm adding some blue ink along the edges. I'm using the ball gown blue ink from scrapbook.com and I die cut the centers out of yellow cardstock. Once all of the ink is applied to all of those flowers, I'll just add a drop of glue to the center and add the yellow piece on top. And I'll do that for all of the flowers. 
So I die cut this brown circle. This is from the beehive die. It's the center piece only. And I'm going to add my sentiment to it. And I'm going to add the sentiment with some Versamark ink to do some heat embossing. So I did add some powder to the cardstock before stamping just so that the embossing powder doesn't stick where there is no embossing ink. And I went ahead and stamped down the sentiment that says miss you lots. And then I'm going to remove that cardstock from the misty and apply some white embossing powder over the top. And then I'll use my heat tool to heat set that sentiment. I'm using a piece of the pattern paper from the Echo Park Be Happy paper pad. This one has the daisies with the bumblebees on it. It's so cute, but I'm adding some of the blue ink just along the edges just for some more depth to this pattern paper. And now I'm ready to put my card together. So I'm going to lay everything out here on the pattern paper. I'm going to have the branch towards the top. I'm going to center the beehive in the middle of that card layer. I wanted the branch extending beyond the edge of the card layer, so I did add it that way and then just snipped off the edge. And now I'm just going to add some of the flowers and leaves. I'm going to put them where I want them and then I'll glue them all down. I'll go ahead and add the sentiment to the center of the beehive. I love how that sentiment stamp set, it will cut those sentiments out in circles, so you can either use them on other cards or they fit perfectly on the inside of this beehive. I'll add some flowers to the beehive as well. Adding a couple on the right side and I will add a cluster of three along the left side of the beehive. I'm also going to add the bumblebees but first I'm going to color the antenna with some black ink. I'm just using a black Copic marker to do this. And I'm gonna do that for all three. And I'm also gonna put some double-sided adhesive foam on the back of those bumblebees so that they're popped up on the beehive. Next, I'll add that entire card layer to a piece of craft cardstock. And this is the same color cardstock I use for the branch on the card and then I'll add that to an A2 size white card base. And finally, I'm going to add some white gel pen, little dots on the cheeks of the bumblebees, and then that will complete this card. So I'll bring this up closer so you can see what this looks like, and you can see the dimension of the bees since I did add some foam tape behind them. So that's gonna complete my card with the beehive die set. I just love how this card turned out. So for my next card, I'm going to be using the High Five stamp set. I've already stamped out lots of images, and I'm going to be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to color up my images. So I stamped them out with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm going to start out with the Beehive and do some watercoloring. So along the edge of the beehive, I added the mustard color, which is a little bit darker of a yellow. And then I added the yellow color, and now I'm just pulling those two colors across each one of those sections of the beehive with my water brush. I'm gonna go around this little door with those same two colors to add some shading and then I'm gonna finish coloring the right side of the beehive by pulling those colors out towards the right side using my water brush. To add a little bit more of an intense color, I just go over the left edge one more time with the mustard color, which is my darkest color, and then I just bring that color out with the water brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side, just add a little bit of the mustard, and then after I add the mustard, I'm gonna come in with my water brush to spread that color outward. I'm going to color the center where the door is with my dark gray, and then just spread that color with the water brush. 
And then for the bees, I'm using the same two colors that I colored up the beehive, so the mustard and the yellow, as well as the water brush. And then for the wings, I will be using the light blue. So just add a little bit of blue there to the wings. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this bee. I think these bees are so cute. This particular one has a little horn coming out of its mouth like it's having a little party. So I colored that horn up in a peach pink color. And I'm also gonna use that peach pink and the light blue for the party hat and the crown. Using all of those same colors, I'm going to color up the honey pot. And I actually didn't even use this honey pot on my card. I just didn't have room for it. And all of those bees, I actually just used three of them on my card. I thought about making a slimline card so that I would have room for all of these stamps because they're just so stinking cute. But I ended up making a card that's smaller, which is an A2 size card. And all of these, I couldn't get to fit how I wanted them. So some of them I'll just keep back in the packaging to save for another card. I stamped out three of the flowers and for two of the flowers I'm going to color the petals with the peach pink and for one of the flowers I'm going to use the light carmine. So just two different color pinks that I'm using there along with the water brush and then for the leaves and the stem I'll be using the olive and the light green. I will also have a list of all of the colors that I use on my stamps today listed down in the description box of this YouTube video. And in that description box, I will also have listed links to all of the supplies that I use on my cards as well. So if you're interested in any of these products, you can check the description box below. So I have a piece of teal cardstock that I cut out with a stitched rectangle die and I'm just adding some shading to that die cut with the mermaid scrapbook.com ink and I chose to use these colors so that it would represent the sky in my scene. So here I'm just placing some of the stamped images where I think I might want them to appear on my card. And once I have that beehive and those flowers where I want it, I will remove it because basically I was just trying to see what space I needed for this heart stamp. It's kind of like the trail that the bee makes when it's flying in the air. And then I'm going to stamp that down onto my card. So it's kind of like a little bit of a dotted line with a heart on it. So cute. And then that's where I'm going to add the B. So I'm going to place the stamped images on that card layer one more time because I want to add another stamp similar to the one that I've already stamped down. And this time it's going to be on the right side of that card layer. So I'll place the other B as well as the smaller stamp with the dotted line, put that in place, and then I'll remove my stamped images and then stamp down that last stamp with some black ink. Next, I'll remove that entire layer from my Misty and I'm ready to go ahead and place all of the images once again. And then this time I'll go ahead and glue them all down. So one of the flowers will be tucked behind the beehive, so I'll add that first. I am going to add this little banner across the top of the beehive. I think that's super cute. Then I'll add the beehive to the card layer. I'll have another flower layering on top of the beehive on the left side. And then I'll add the one on the right side, but this one's going to be tucked behind the beehive. I probably should have added that one before adding the beehive, but I was able to get it tucked behind there without any problems. I go ahead and add one of the bees. I'll add the other bee. These are so cute. They look like they're just having a little party on this scene. I did stamp out Happy Bee Day in, onto some white cardstock. So you see I put my card panel back in the misty. I decided I wanted to add one more bee in the lower right hand corner so I'm going to add another one of these little squiggly dotted lines and then I'm going to add the sentiment and the last bee. I'm going to have that sentiment covering up that dotted line just a little bit and then the third bee that I'm going to add is going to be the one with the crown. I think that is so cute. 
So you can see my other stamped images there on the table. I don't end up using any of those, but I'll just save those for another card. So I'll add this layer to a piece of the hot pink cardstock. I did cut that pink cardstock with a scalloped rectangle die, and then I will add that to an A2 size card base. So that will complete both of my cards. Once again, all product links will be down in the description box of this YouTube video, and I always appreciate your support when you use my links. I would love to hear what you thought of my cards today, so drop me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.